Good afternoon, Keller Williams, and welcome to day 47 of the Command 66 Day Challenge. Marty Muller with Summit Property Group in Houston, Texas, coming to talk to you today about custom landing pages for a listing. So if we wanted to create a custom page for one of our active listings, we could come into Sketch House. First, we want to create a template for this landing page. So we're going to say Create Custom Template. Let's call that Listing Landing Page. And this is going to be a web-based template. So we'll choose web and create that sketch. First things, we want to add a few widgets to this page. So let's click on the widget button. Let's start off with a branded header. Kind of shows our information. Next, we're going to want information about the listing. So we'll add in the listing here. Next, we'll scroll down a little bit further. Let's say we wanted to go ahead and include some local insight information after that. So we'll put that in. And we'll go down a little bit further. Whoops, here we go. Scroll down and scroll down. And let's say after the insights, we wanted to put in the local, let's see. We want to put in, we're going to need the legal footer and we're going to put in, let's see, where is it? And you guys can kind of come through and play with each one of these and decide which one you like. But let's put in your local expert, which is more branding about us, which looks really good. And then we'll put the legal at the very bottom to make sure that we are compliant. So legal footer at the bottom. So if you go through, this is what the page preview is going to look like. You can kind of see we start off with the branded header. Next, we have the listing information. Let me scroll down. Then we're going to get into the local expert, which is our information. We have the insights here in the middle as well. I skipped past that. Sorry, local insights your local expert, and then our legal footer. So we're going to click on Save Changes. And it's going to say the template has now been updated. And then we want to go ahead and go ahead and customize the landing page. So we'll say yes, we want to leave that site. And now it should bring us into the actual template. So first of all, we're going to name it. Um, I've been using the townhome listing that I have, so that's not going to change any Wax Myrtle Lane. So we'll change that name. And next we're going to come into the branded header and we can put in the header text. So let's say welcome to A11 Wax Myrtle Lane. Just enough characters. Um, I've got my headshot as my branding. I don't have a background image yet. We're going to work on creating some of those this week so that I can put those in. And yet we're going to leave that blank for right now. And then name, telephone number, email address, and my team logo already all included. So let's click on apply changes. Next, we'll come out of the branded header widget and go into the actual listing widget where we're going to choose the listing and put in the address so we can pull it up from the KWLS system. There it is, Wax Myrtle. So we'll select that. And once you choose the listing, you're going to have three options as far as photos you want put in. So you can choose what the header image is, which is one of the images that shows up right off the bat. I've always liked this kitchen shot, so let's do that. Next, the featured background. So let's say maybe that main living picture is a good one. And then the front carousel image, let's choose as the front carousel image, let's just choose the outdoor one. So I've got three photos selected for each one of these. You cannot select the same photo, so make sure that you have three separate photos. And then you click on Apply Changes. And finally, we'll come out of the listing widget and we'll go into the local insights. We're going to put in the actual zip code, which is 77079. And then you would see any insights that you have created or all insights. And you can see right now there's not a ton of insights in that area. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the elementary school. And then this looks like it's going to be a wine bar. So we'll add that in. And this might give me an idea that I need to go ahead and go into that area and add in some extra insights in 77079. So I could click on Apply Changes and then come back out of the local insight widget. From there, I wanna go back up to the top and you can kind of see, okay, so here's the information about the listing. Right now, um, I am aware and we're working with the labs team that the MLS that we use in Houston does not import the exterior and interior details. So that's something that labs is working on with our MLS to get that corrected. And then you see the photo gallery down here. All right, so you have the carousel running of all the photos. It has some recommendations as far as some different insights that have been put in. And then down here at the bottom, you'll see it'll have the previews for the marketing information and then the legal footer at the bottom. 
So we'll get through all the way through that and we can go ahead and click on publish. And I'll say, are you sure? Yes, I am sure. And now I have created a specific landing page just for this listing. So I can click on that URL and here it is. Here's the actual landing page that's been created for this listing. So in tomorrow's challenge, we're going to show you a couple of different opportunities that we have to use this landing page as a call to action and some other things there. So for right now, I'd recommend going in, playing with the Sketchhouse template, then create a listing landing page template, and then go ahead and customize it for one of the active listings that you have. Again, tomorrow we'll work on uh, applying that listing landing page to a couple other systems that we can utilize within command. Hope you guys are all staying dry in Houston and uh, across the U.S. having a fantastic Sunday. And as always, I'll look forward to speaking with you tomorrow.